Hey everyone, Creature and Guy here, coming at you with another Transformers review. <clears throat> you know, the other day I was thinking to myself, moping around the house, thinking about the awful entirety of it all, about how horrible this strange thing that has come about called Revenge of the Fallen, how it was just such a big blazing mess. I mean, how could so many things be wrong at the same time? So many characters misrepresented represented and not so and yet so not developed. I mean look at Starscream, he's one of the most iconic characters from the original series and he just gets a couple lines and when they come out with the toy it looks like this. I mean, okay this is Skywarp, but you know, same mold. I mean guys, I know who that Hasbro can do better than this. I mean it's all misshapen and misformed and just weird and spindly little legs and giant no hand in hand, no fingered hands. I mean, I know Hasbro can do better than this. And thank goodness that for the rest of the normal human world, that they can. For I bring, for yet last year, out of the blue, Hasbro comes out with this beautiful reimagining of Starscream from the movie in the form of Hunt for the Decepticons leader class Starscream. <laughs> Yes, this is what I am talking about. Awful as the movie designs were, you just gotta love this thing. Even if it doesn't look a thing like Starscream, it is definitely, and most undeniably, a Transformer. I mean, just look at it, it's so big and gray and bulky and evil looking with its evil fingery fingers. And it's just so, yet yeah, it's so big and bulky and rounded over, yet it's also so thin and sleek and pointy. It's just very cool. Cool, not cool. It is a ghoulish, but it's also cool. Now let it never be said that Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime is not in fact awesome. But I gotta say, Starscream is kinda rivaling him here. I mean, just look at this thing. Just by telling him the part, you can tell that this guy is in fact a little bit bulkier than this guy. It is quite quite outstanding. I I am outstood stood. I'm outstanding because I'm amazed. But let's take a closer look at this guy, shall we? And here we go. So, let's take a look at this big bad boy. As you can see, he, he's got all kinds of crazy articulation. I mean, he's got the, uh, he's got finger and thumb and other thumb, whatever that is, and wrist and elbow and whatever this is. And listen to that. Oh, I love that ratchet sound. I could listen to that all day long. Man, that's wonderful. But, uh, I mean, just look at it. It's just so very wonderful. And look at this. He's even got posable toes. My gosh, this thing is crazy. Another thing I was really surprised about was all the gif different gimmicks on this guy. First of all, let's take a look here at this one right here, which you pull this red trigger inside of his arm, and out comes a Gatling gun, which is totally awesome. And the thing is, it just kind of slides back in unnoticed completely, I mean, if I hadn't seen that it wor actually happened, worked like that, I wouldn't have known at all. Uh, but the big obvious red trigger does kind of help. But also on this end, you got... Boom! Missile launchers. Boom! Right. Okay, there we go. Gone. Missile launchers. Gone. Missile launchers. Totally cool. But yeah, this guy is just, like... Ah oh, man, and all these bit and his, these big I just can't get over these hands. I mean look how evil and horrible they look. They're just so big and skeleton like well he's a skeleton. I mean he's just so very cool. And all the moving parts on here makes him actually look like he's a robot. But this is just awesome. And of course with all this kind of crazy uh, motion you can get in here, you can get all kinds of faces and different poses you can put on in him. And while I'm not a fan of the movie aesthetic, um, face-wise, I do gotta say that this face is totally represents him well. And another cool feature, like with Optimus Prime's um, <clears throat> peck pulse, you can also pull down on the cockpit here and... Very cool. Just horrid gloating. And on the back you got another punch, you got a little insignia here that you can punch and... It does the exact same thing. Except you get a jet sound as well. So that's cool. So, yeah. 
And one other gimmick yet again. If you take the missile launcher from his alt mode, this thingy right here, and you put and it can actually become an alternate hand. What you do is you fold in the hand right here and plug it into that little hole right there. And ammo. I got an even horrible or looking hand. I mean look at that thing. That's just awesome. I actually prefer this to the uh, to the hand, which is kind of unbelievable, but yeah. And as if that wasn't sinister enough, you can take one of these missiles and plug it right in there. And you can, of course, fire. It's actually got like, a pretty good projectile. Yes, this guy is definitely the cat's meow. And, I mean, compared to uh, the old model, yep, there's really no comparison at all. And compared to his fellow awesome leader class figure, he is absolutely enormous. I mean, he's obviously shorter, but that is only because he's bent over and squatted like this. If he was standing up full and straight, I think he'd be about tall, almost a little bit taller than Prime, which is very, very scary. This is what the Fallen should have been. This is evil right here. <laughs> this is so cool. But yeah, so Starscream definitely went on the uh, robot mode. But let's take a look at that alt mode, shall we? Where the dog is? Mmm. Yeah. I, I think so. I'll have more of this, please. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's landing here. Okay, I think the... I think this pretty much just speaks for itself. Okay, so you got an awesome robot mode that looks like totally evil incarnate, and then he got, and then it goes down to this, into this totally wicked looking gray, metallic gray with black tats all over the place. It's just awesome. And, optional landing gear. And it, it just goes in there like that, and it actually rolls. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely perfect. It actually rolls. <sighs> Oh my gosh, this is indeed awesome. And before I die of a heart attack or anything, let me just show out, show you all, all the cool features this thing does come with. Pretty much, you uh, punch this little Decepticon insignia, which is very well hidden amongst all these other black things. So you can talk in alt mode and... Wishing noises. The missiles store under there very nicely. And it's amazing how this whole thing just kind of folds away into this awesome looking F-22. I mean, it's just awesome. By the way, that is the uh, model of this of this plane. This is an F-22, and it looks very accurate to real life. As for this thing, I'm sure, I know it goes in there somewhere, but I just keep it out. Because, you know, it'll be just fine. But yeah, this thing is absolutely spectacular. And <clears throat> I gotta say, this, has got, this is one of the best. Um, Transformers of 2010, I gotta say. Last year was amazing, we had a lot of amazing things, but this thing definitely takes the cake. I gotta say, this is one of the very best. And so I'm saying, Starscream is awesome, and now I can actually feel good about the movie version as well. So as if you need to know any more about Starscream, then, I mean, you know, okay? This is pretty much just speaks for itself. From Hunt for the Decepticons has been a weird line with things here and there, and but little gems here and there as well. And this is definitely a huge, big, fat, honkin' ruby. I mean, definitely. The highlight of the series, by far. So, I would definitely say get this guy. Hunt for the Decepticons is still out in stores, but it won't be for long, because Dark of the Moon is approaching fast on us. Fast approaching on us, that's what I meant. And so, <clears throat> definitely, you gotta go out and you gotta get this guy, and you gotta get him now. I mean, it's amazing. For 45 bucks is a lot of money, so it's quite an investment, but it is so worth it. And it's amazing how much you really get for your money. I mean, while your alternative is just another Optimus Prime, which is cool, but it's the exact same thing as what we had last year and the year before. So I would definitely say go for this guy. Starscream from Hunt for the Decepticons. Definitely worth it. Don't even bother with that other piece of junk, Starscream from Revenge of the Fallen movie. Just don't even bother. Definitely get this guy. I mean, do I need to say more? I'm Greasy Runt Guy, this is Starscream, and I'll see you later.